Well, I was going to try to do this uh, uh, with uh, one full shot here. I had another camera and the card was full on it, so uh, this is just, I just shut this down and I'm just getting ready to undo the union as the uh, card filled up on the previous camera. So, uh, it's a little hard to do this with one hand just to get that union started and done. But, So I've, the only thing I've done is shut this down, and uh, I can take the light fixture out to show you the growth beforehand. It has uh, one week's worth of growth. I did clean it at the two-week point, so this is at the three-week point. Okay. So I pull the screen out. One, two, three. I'm gonna reach in, and I'm going to take the false bottom out. I do recommend you take this out and clean it every week. It may not look like it needs it. And the other thing I'm going to do is grab this toothbrush, which has these nice stiff bristles on it, and I'm just going to swipe. I don't know if you can even see this. Swipe inside the box. Just kind of, kind of grab some loose algae out of there. Actually. I thought that it looked like there was some in the pipe down there. I can't quite tell. Let me grab my uh, flashlight. Yeah, I can see some in there. I'm going to get that out later. I need to get this uh, screen cleaned up here relatively quickly because. I don't want it stinking up the house here. It is a new screen in the high nutrient tank. So, off we go. Got to do this while everybody's in bed. And it helps to clear the sink out before you do this too. off the false bottom. Sometimes you need to take a little brush to this because it will it will build up. You can see it it has built up some algae on the edge. Okay. That's good. And you can see the screen. So that is pretty dark, high nutrient growth. There is green underneath it, and here's how you take the screen out. One hand. Nice and easy. Alright. I'm just going to give it a rub. What I'm going to show you here is see the stuff coming off. And kind of what's left underneath it. There's a good green base. That's about the three week point. I'm running the lights I think 12 hours a day. So what I'm going to do is just rub with my fingers and just get it down to where the green is left. And now when I put the camera down, I gotta take this to here. You know, I scrub this edge until it's all clear. So I'll do that real quick. Here. Scrub it white all the way down. And uh, that's really it for the screen cleaning.
that goes back in the tub. And then I just uh, slide this out of the way. Be careful of, the, of this gasket. Right there, you don't want to lose that gasket. But you want to take the scrub brush to that too. I'm going to do that real quick. screen back in. That's it. Now, I do want to go back and clean up that algae. Get that algae that was in there. It's a nice looking green screen for three weeks. Good tufty algae on there. Alright. Let's see if we can get some of this stuff out of here. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Nice kind of. It's kind of snot like. And uh, you want to try to get that out. So these brushes are really good for grabbing this stuff. Cause it's got these prickly tines on there kinda, you know, and you don't you just need to kinda just touch it in there. And I usually give the the edges a good scrape. Sorry this is being done with my lower quality camera, so you can't really see it too much. Yeah, there's a little goo. Again, this tank has been running the upflow scrubber for uh, almost a year. I never really was able to get it down to the low, low nutrient stage. Uh, the upflow scrubber is currently on a temporary tank uh, in the basement. Uh, it kind of was a uh, emergency measure. I needed a cured screen on that tank. This tank I'm using to house fish for transferring to another tank and uh, so it has no filtration the upflow scrubber came in handy um, so here we go putting the union back on set the camera back down so what I do is I just I grab onto this end of the pipe hold it in place and tighten the union down. All right. Lid goes back on. Lights back on. It. Again, this is the old version of the L2. This is a like a like a second uh, leftover one where I cut the window too short, so I had to actually trim off this side of the heat sink, so it's really tight in there, which is why you saw me kind of struggling with that. Um, again, the newer version uses the maker's heat sinks, um, but that's it. That's how longer it took me to change to um, to clean that. Um, basically, mostly one-handed, uh, under 10 minutes. So if I didn't have a camera and I wasn't talking about it and demonstrating it, we're talking about five minute cleaning. That's it.